Uh, we're actually going to get the um, jobless numbers, the unemployment numbers for the month of June a day earlier than we would otherwise expect them. So we would usually get those on a Friday. They're going to come out tomorrow. That'll tell us unemployment figures uh, for June. Brace yourself. It's going to be absolutely terrible. I'd like to just announce the spectacular news for American workers and American families and for our country. The United States economy added almost 5 million jobs in the month of June, shattering all expectations. There is no sign that the Navy hospital ships that the president made such a big deal of, the comfort and the mercy, um, there's no sign that they'll be anywhere on site helping out anywhere in the country for weeks yet. The president said when he announced that those ships would be put into action against the COVID-19 epidemic, he said one of those ships would be operational in New York Harbor by next week. That's nonsense. It will not be there next week. You see this massive ship that has arrived here at Pier 90 along the Hudson River. The ship hospital has 1,000 beds and 12 operating rooms. The medical staff on board can treat a wide range of illnesses from minor injuries to patients in critical condition. Incredible naval hospital ship, the USNS Comfort, which is incredible actually when you see it inside, will be underway to New York City on Saturday. So it's going to be leaving on Saturday rather than three weeks from now. The U.S. Navy hospital ship Comfort, typically deployed around the world for medical relief, now sailing to New York City to comfort fellow Americans. This great ship behind me is a 70,000 ton message of hope and solidarity to the incredible people of New York, a place I know very well place I love. Mercy that arrived here in San Pedro uh, in Los Angeles port this morning uh, for putting together a remarkable operation in a remarkably short period of time. Uh, these men and women were quite literally called up a few days ago, came from hospitals all over the state of California and the region and came together under the order uh, of President Donald Trump. And I want to just thank the president personally on behalf of a grateful region, on behalf of a grateful state. Uh, for sending this ship uh, and the incredible resources uh, that reside within this ship to the state of California. Could not have happened soon enough, and it would not simply have happened without his support and leadership. The president said when he announced that those ships would be put into action against the COVID-19 epidemic, he said one of those ships would be operational in New York Harbor by next week. That's nonsense. It will not be there next week. You know, the USNS Comfort was not supposed to arrive in New York for another three weeks. It was under maintenance, but it took a Herculean effort, the vice admiral told Fox News, to get this ship ready to go. The president says in the next three months, the United States will make or buy more than three times the number of ventilators than it uses in a typical year. Tens of thousands more necessary in the care of the sickest coronavirus patients.